on it again today. Green boiler suit, blue sky, that's better, isn't it? Um, so I've just, where I left off yesterday, I'm gonna be taking the sheet off, moving the meal over there, and then we'll open up the front of that clamp, see how we get on with that. I've got a bit of time to do a bit of filming, but I am up against it, we'll see how much I can do. put in there to stop the uh, crate meal going through. That's just a little that's just a little cap I put in there. I lost one of those already so I've only got one left. It just stops the rate meal right flowing through the bucket. Right. Let's see what we can do. Oh. Tractor on a tripod. Okay. All right. It's going to move all this. All this lovely rake meal. It's very expensive. I'm going to move all that into that little bunker I've made. Into the bunker. Let's have a look.
Okay, so I'm just doing that. I've made a mess here. Look at this mess. I've got to sort this out. So we've got a mixture of bales, plastic. <sighs> broken bale there, broken bale there. Right, okay. I'm gonna sort this out. I'm not gonna bother filming that bit. We'll have a catch up when I get to the point where I can open the sheet and we'll see what's under there. It ain't gonna be good. Stay tuned. Okay, oh, case just jumped. Big reveal now. So I cut a bit of the plastic off so I could get that rape meal out. Uh, a couple of little mice ran out. There's always mice on here. Let me just take this off the tripod. Okay, so we have got, whoa, I always get this wrong. We have got manky silage and a bit of good. So let me explain. So basically, once you expose the silage to the air, uh, it starts fermenting and rotting down really. Um, that's the whole point of the plastic sheet, keep it airtight and stop it rotting. So as soon as you expect to wear it, get, it gets, starts rotting down and uh, we had to open the front out and take a bit off the front so there was enough cover for me to tip the rake meal because if I dumped it at the front it would get rained on. So I had to go forward a bit on the clamp. I then switched to the, dump the rake meal here with the plastic sheet pulled down then I started feeding, eating into that side on the right. The problem being is that I opened up a bit of it so it exposed it to the air and even with the sheet down on it it's going to carry on rotting. So what we got here, let's have a look. So what we've got here, let me just lift this up, is what happens when maize silage is exposed to the air. Look at this. Blech. We've got a lovely mushroom crop here. Does anyone want to fry up? Um, and it's really, let me just put my fingers in it. Ooh, ugh. that's really black and horrible. And look at that. I'm not sure what mushroom that is, but I'm not having that on my breakfast. Um, so the good thing about that though, is it's literally only a surface covering. And look, where this piece has fallen off, where I disturbed it when I was using the loader bucket, you can see behind the silage is perfectly good. There's nothing wrong with that at all. Um, look, there's a little bit of sweet corn there, look. So what I've got to do now, I'm going to cut, the, cut that bit of sheet off there and I'm just going to gently use the loader bucket just to nibble away a bit of the front and that'll get dumped. I'll dump that and then a little bit will have to come off the side as well because that's all rotting down. But then I can start feeding this like I was feeding the rest. So it shouldn't be a problem really. Okay.
Here we go, we've got a special guest star here. Jack's appeared. Have you done your homework and your schoolwork? No. What are you doing out here then? Break. Break time. So you come out here to see me. What do you think? Let me have a look. Let's take it off and have a look. Why a bit mushroom. Like well, funny, I was just chatting about that. That's because it's been exposed to the air and it's gone rotten. It's disgusting. Don't get that on your clothes. Look at that. Look, you can see mice holes in it as well. Huh? Mice holes. I saw mice earlier. Look, they burrowed into the front. Yeah, and there, look. Oh, yeah. So you can... be mice in this thing. Well, they've already run away. I saw them running away. Can you see the bit? It's like animals in this. Animals? Well, they're all like oh, flies. Maggots and flies, maggots. yeah. But you see, can you see? Look, that bit's good. Are you going to take all this stuff Yeah, off? I'm going to dump that. That's all going in the muck. Look at it, it's all squishy. I know. Are you enjoying that? Yeah, satisfying. Do you want that mushroom for your break? You're on your break. Do you want that mushroom for your break? Mm -hmm. No, it's probably a poisonous one. Don't ever eat anything like that. Oh. Are you enjoying that? Don't want to touch it. Don't want to touch it. It's it's disgusting. It is disgusting, you're right. Well, how, that's got to go off. That mushroom, it? Well, they just, I don't know. In the air, the spores are in the air, they land on there, and they're nice and moist. Probably ideal growing for uh, sort of temperature because it's got heat from the, the maize. And then it's wet and it's damp and it's dark. And they go, way, this is awesome. I know mushrooms aren't alive. Well, they're an organism, aren't they? I know if they're not alive. How do you know they're not alive? You've been doing that in science. They don't have a brain, do they? I don't think so. Yeah. No, but they. Um, their body must tell them that's wonderful. It's pretty manky, isn't it? Right, while I'm doing this, you can do it, make yourself useful. You can video me taking away that bit <laughs> of mank. No, I'm doing right. that. Doing what? I'm doing that. I'm, I'm doing what, with the loader? Yeah. I'm using the tractor, Jack. I'm driving. Are you? You've got not 13 yet. August. I'm close enough. Close enough, nearly. Good attitude. Use a bucket and spade. But not today. I'm not going to look. Bucket and spade. I'm, I'm not going to start you. I'm not going to start you on doing that. Yeah, right. you are. No, I'm not. Next time, pretty soon, we'll get you on the tractor. Are you looking forward to that? Um, don't know. Why are you earning some pocket it. money? I think I might crash it. Ah! Oh, that's so good. Good. Okay, so what I've done, I've, I've tipped it all out where the cows are. They'll pick over that. They'll pick out anything any good. The rest, they'll, the rest will be going. The rest will go, go out of the muck. Right, let's have a look. So, all I really got to do now is just fork out what I need to, a bit, few bits and it's not too bad. The rest is all right, isn't it? Do you think that's all right? That's good. That'll be all right. All well, this lens is all dusty and dirty. Anyway, I think we're nearly done now. That's it. You go back, back for your homework. I've got 15 minutes. 15 minutes, have you? 15. All right, I'll find you another job. Don't 
hit me. You are disgusting. <laughs>